on today's episode of the home rancher we're going to work on my hustler raptor zero turn 52 inch mower now i see some videos on youtube of people showing you how to do the deck belt some people are saying you have to remove the deck other people are saying you can do it with no tools some people are saying i got frustrated with it and i've dumped it in the lake I don't know well, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it my way with barely any tools and a lot less frustration and probably take the skin off of a few of my knuckles maybe get something in my eyes so I'm gonna go Get my lawn lower, uh, lawn lower, and bring it around here and lay on the ground. I've seen one of my dogs pee on the driveway earlier, so that's fine. We'll just pretend we didn't see that. And then we'll go around here and get this thing and see if I can bust some knuckles. We'll be right back. Oh, dang it. I found it. It was right in the way. So, obviously, it's pretty dirty. I uh, cut a lot of high grass off to the side of the property that I was getting tired of looking at. And uh, made a mess, kind of smoked about. It almost broke. It didn't break, but it almost broke. So that's a good thing, because I don't think I have any pictures of how the belt actually routes on this particular unit. Sometimes they got a little stick lighter on there and shows your belt routing diagram. And I don't know. I bought this one from my brother. It's the Hustler Raptor Limited Edition. Evidently, it's limited to only cutting grass so tall without smoking the belt. So, but really, all you really need is a little broom or beard brush thing, you know, quarter inch drive, ratchet extension, and three eighth drive. Now, if you have a little battery operated quarter inch drive or a drill driver, nut driver, etc., that you want to use, that's fine. But you may find that you might want to actually loosen the bolts. Because some of them are pretty tight and they got plenty of like grass and dirt and dust and debris down in there. Now, I'm going to clean this whole thing up. But you got these blade covers here. Get my daggum big old knee out of the way so you can see. Got these blade covers here. And you got to get them off in order to get to the spindles for the blades, which is where the belts are routed on the pulleys. So the first thing you want to do is take and oh, drop your deck like that right and break your nose. Or hand but if you put it down with your teeth then you would have broke your nose but I don't know I, I need a PB blaster it's too early for this crap today then we'll clean some of this out of here and uh, I'll bring y'all down a little closer and show you where the bolts are for those little safety protectors and they're not just there for safety guys so don't just take them off and leave them off put them back on because they also help protect the belt from debris and crap coming up off the yard and getting in there in between the belt and the pulleys and creating a problem with smoking the belt or throwing the belt off track. So put them back. Save your bolts. Put them right up here in the deck. Now, you know, I went on Scamazoo, Zon, Amos, Cruz, the, the Jungle Place website and uh, ordered me a belt. And they had a five-star review. 
and everybody said it's good belt and I got it for 28 bucks and my local guy which I try to support local when I can he wanted $89 for the same exact belt same brand same part number so even though I like to support my local guy why would I give him you know four times the amount for the same belt smells the same Tastes the same too. So we're gonna do the stuff with the thing. Be back. Now, you know, one thing you might want to do is stretch the belt out, make sure it's the right length, match it up with your old one. Of course your old one's gonna be bigger because it's stretched out. A lot of things get bigger when you stretch them out. So but for these fifty two inch raptors, you need a B. 3500 Lee Y Y Z 3540 Lou L W how do you say that? And that's backwards, so I don't know. But you wanna kinda find the end of it and Well, that's not a hula hoop. But, you know, kind of shake it to the left, shake it to the right, hold it up and make sure it's right. What if I could jump rope this thing? Ooh, no, that don't work. Well, anyway, we got it off. We can just hang it around your neck. No, don't do that. Just uh, just throw it on the ground to be all right. Okay, so like my little doohickey there, it serves a purpose when you're in that taller grass instead of it just clumping up in your yard and just leaving a turd line of grass. You can just take and you can use a bungee or whatever. Use this old boot lace, and I can just pull it up and loop it around while I'm on the seat and open that thing up. And let it blow all that crap right in my wife's face while she's sitting on the porch. She loves it. So anyway, get your little boom hickey, do hickey, do dab, shop back, you know. Boy, I need to be better on my maintenance on this stuff, man. I just, holy Christmas, I just, I don't know what I've been doing. I've been slacking. I've been working a lot, trying to make content for you guys. Make sure you find an old dead wasp or a bee like that and grab it and let it sting you. Because, did you know, you can still get stung by a dead wasp or a dead bee. You sure can. Ask me how I know. But we're going to clean out around here a little bit now. Once I get it off, we're going to clean it some more. This has got some good dirt and grime down in the bolt provisions there so we're going to break it loose finger a little bit if you had a shot back it probably work better but uh three eighths socket ratchet deep with an extension i like the extension because i like to hold the ratchet like this put them up around the deck where your feet go that way you don't put them on the ground and kick them when you're working on it. This one-handed mechanic and wrenching is a little bit of a trick, you know. It's, it's a little different than what I'm used to doing. But hey, if I can show you guys how to do something, then, you know. Oh, yeah, that's real real nice in there you can see where started rubbing that belt started flopping and I felt it vibrating probably because of all that grass in there I may be wrong but I think I'm right so we're gonna clean this crud out of here uh, see big old chunks of straw <laughs> I was basically using this thing like a bush hog 
and I'm not supposed to do that, but well, it had to get cut, so I had to get cutting it. Well, y'all don't want to sit here and watch me do this all day, so I'm going to clean this thing off. And when I get to the point where I'm ready to remove that belt, I'll bring y'all back in. So a guy got down on his all fours, laid in some ants, and got attacked by a couple barn sparrows. They don't like me. But let me show you what I found. Remember I told you I caught it just in time? Yeah, I caught it just in time. This was down underneath one of my spindles. Let me turn you around and show you. And if you look, you know, this piece goes right in there like that. It goes on the inside. It's the chunk that come out. And there's... I mean, I could probably put it in there and put some duct tape on it and Maybe cut about five foot of grass, but eh, why well, do that? Now I got most of the crap out of the way. I'm going to take the belt off and go ahead and put the other one on, and then I'm going to run the water hose under there with it running and get all around these spindles cleaned out real good, and then I'm going to oil them. And I got to level the deck out. It's, it's like I hit something and knocked it off, and it's got this adjustment up here. And uh, I'm going to adjust it and get the pitch right. It's down too low in the front. And it leaves streaks in my grass. So, Alright, so the easy way to do this, the tensioner in spring is right here. This booger. Now, if you want to take all that apart, you can. But I like to just, well, let me put you on a tree pod. All right, so we got y'all on the tree pod now. So what I like to do is just hold the belt right here, pull right here, and just it'll come right off that pulley just like that. And then of course, take it off everything. Now, like I said, this deck does not have a belt routing diagram. So I'm gonna make a quick little diagram on a piece of paper just to make sure I got it right. Okay, so I uh, had a piece of papyrus and a El Permanento Marquel. And basically, I'm just going to rough out a sketch of the shape of the mower deck. And then draw some circles on there for my pulleys and then draw my belt around it the way it goes. And then I got my own belt diagram. Okay, so turn you around here. All right, so you take your marker and you open it up, and there's no tip. So you just throw that somewhere in the yard. I've got to go get something else to write with. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Basically, don't tell Mama Bunny that I stole one of her craft paint pens. She'll kick my butt. So basically, our deck is... Flat across the back, and then it comes around on either side and comes to a point, kind of like that. So we know we got a spindle here, we got one down here, we got one over here, okay, and then we got two in the back, like this. Basically, looks like that. So it comes off the drive, which is back here. So a belt comes off this drive, around, around, yeah, around, make sure that, oh yeah, I almost forgot there's a little idler right here. And it goes around it like this, around, over, yeah, it's like, it's like that. So, it comes 
off the drive on the engine down and around these two idlers out to this spindle and to this spindle around the front spindle and then there's another tensioner right here that's the main tensioner actually no i lied to you that's just an idler the main tensioner is right here and it slides on a little sorry it slides on a little track and it's spring loaded and the spring comes over here and it pulls tension on that pulley so i'll pull this one off i'm gonna get the other one lined up and i'll show you how to get around some things because there's some important little guides and brackets that are detrimental to putting it back on without having a mess and cussing and beating your knuckles off and just throwing it in the garbage. We'll be back in just a minute. Alright, so I had to get me a PB blaster. You know, I gotta get refueled here. What's up? Oh, yeah, it's Father's Day. And look at here. Christoph er, brought me a gift. Because, you know, I'm the world's dumbest dad. Or is that what it is? No? World's biggest butthole? No? What is it then? World's greatest. World's greatest dad? Really? I love you, buddy. Thank you. It's... It's nice having kids. I love them. Until they fart. And this one, whew, I tell you, he made the dog gag the other day. It was so bad. What we got here? I was just getting ready to, I, you got me a cut to put my PB blaster and my PBR in. Oh boy. It says dad fuel. It's Backwards, dang on it. Well, you know, it says, is that why you got that? You already know what I'm getting ready to do, don't you? I'm going to check out my new cup. Ain't got no coffee, but I got the next best thing. Put me a PB blaster in here. Because that's what PB... All it is is dad fuel. It fuels this dad. So, cheers, buddy. You ain't got a cup, but you can just... There you go. Ah. Refueled. Excuse you. That's good. You see that? What else you got there? A card. Is it like a debit card so I can go to the bank and like get more PB blasters? Oh. Well, I thought it counts, right? Am I going to cry? Am I going to have gas or no. all that? says dead when it comes to terrific fathers how do you open this thing oh oh man look at that I'm a classic happy father's day look at that isn't that cool see my boys know that I like my classic cars and I especially love my old Chevy's and I believe that's a flat no it's not a five window I hold it right way oh look at there look at there Route 66. And we've been talking about taking that tour and going down Route 66. See, if you're a good dad and you take care of your kids and you show them love and teach them things and provide for them, they don't forget. And even though we only get one day, moms, dads, we only get one day. That one day can be the biggest day that you've ever had. I love my boys. I love you, buddy. Thank you. That's nice. You want to put it in there on my dresser for me? 
I appreciate you sharing it with all our subscribers and our fans. That means a lot to them, too. Anything you want to say to them? No, you don't want to say nothing to your your fans? They like your hair. They said you look like a, a young Donald Trump with your hair. Say it, say. It's going to be huge. We're going to go to China. you got to do it so they can see you do it. Be your Donald Trump. It's going to be huge. We're going to China. <laughs> <laughs> Just think, when I can't video no more, you're going to have him doing it. So it'll be Home Rancher Jr. All right, well, I'm going to get this thing off of here and get this other one routed, and I'm going to show you these little dangling points that you can snag your dangling on and I mean your finger on and knock your knuckles off. We'll be right back. Ah, so I decided to take a nap. I'm getting fat. I remember when I had a washboard stomach and a 12 pack of PBR. I mean, you know, I'm going to show you what's going on under here. Now, there's other guys with videos, and they're saying there's some adjuster spring lighter things that are in the way, and you can't get the belt around them. And well, you put the deck down; they're not in the way no more. Let me show you. So they're talking about these drives here, and I need to do a little adjuster lighting on them because I got one that's a little crazy. But I mean, you just pull them out off, and out it comes. Just as simple as that. Nice and easy. Lemon peasy. Clutch and everything still looks good. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this other belt in here real quick and see if I can't chop my foot off with the blade. Okay, right, so these other fellas are saying that these got to come off or anyway. You can't get the belt around them. And all that stuff like that. But once your belt's routed through, just squeeze it together like this. Put it in between. And, well, just pull it through. Pretty easy. Pull it through. Come out here, go around your spindle. Like so. And it goes around that one. And then the V-groove is on this one. So you just take it around there like that. Flat side on the flat groove pulleys. V-groove on the V-groove pulleys. Like that. Go to the other side. Get it lined up. But before we do that, we're going to pull the tension around. I'm going to pull this tension over here around. Over that tensioner there. And I'm going to go back here to the back and make sure that's on that drive pulley. Okay, so that's on the drive pulley. So we're going to grab it from here and pull it taut. we got all this now. And I may have to loosen that tensioner up. I'm going to set up the tree pod here. And uh, we'll uh, try to get you a better shot. Okay, so I forgot the belt. Got hot a month or so ago and started slipping. So I came out here and moved this a notch forward. And down in here on the deck, there's some holes where this slides in so you can change your tension. I'm going to pull this spring off, which is pretty easy. You just pull it towards you. Like so. Springs off. Pull this doohickey out. Rotate it towards you. And lift it out, belts in the way. And then you see those holes right there? When there's two more directly behind it, I take this and push it in there. You can see them now. See those holes? And those have grooves, so it lets it flex. So put it in there, rotate it, pull it up like that, bring your spring back. And, bong, you heard it. 
Bow. I like that. Well, didn't do it that time. Well, I'll be Monkey Christmas. So you're going to rotate it now and put it just in there like that. So now you got your tension on your belt. You pull it around. Let me put it on a tripod because I can't do that with one hand. I'm going to get El Dominico to come over here and run the camera instead of running the tripod. That way we can get a better view. All right, right, Dominic. You got a big cameraman for me for a minute? All right, cool. Okay, so El Dominico is here to help me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over to this side and hold the belt like this. Pull it around like so. And pinch my finger like that. Oh, there's rocks on the ground. I'm trying to rip my finger off. You see that? There we go. So once that's on like that, then I can come around here and pull. And ta-da! Okay, well, I picked up tools and other things that might get launched, like shrapnel. And uh, I'm going to climb on here and see if it <clears throat> does the stuff with the things, and then I'm going to level the deck out. I'll raise the deck up first. That worked okay. So uh, I'm gonna level the deck, and I'm gonna take it over to the water hose and clean out the spindles and stuff, and then put my protective shields back on, and that'll be it for this video. Once that's done, and I gotta cut this grass, and I think I'm gonna have a cookout today. Seems like a good idea. No, nope. something will go wrong with the grill, and I'll have to fix it. Okay, so to level these decks out, Hustler made it a no-brainer. You got this rod that goes down to the nose of your deck. It's got a hind joint, and it comes up to a knuckle here and goes through, and it has a jam nut, lock nut on it. And in order to adjust the pitch, which really only want like maybe a quarter inch of pitch, from the back to the front, if you measure it from the front to the back, you only want about a, maybe maybe like a quarter to a half inch. You don't want a whole lot. And right now this thing looks like I'm going to go plow a field with it. So we're going to level this out and uh, finish up. Three quarter deep. Perfect fit. Now... You turn it counterclockwise to lower it, and you turn it clockwise to raise it. Okay, so I also noticed my roller wheels on my deck are on the wrong notch. Like I said, I bought this thing from my brother, so it uh it isn't exactly dialed in. He just replaced spindles and blades and bearings and stuff on it and put some new tires on it to move to his new house and then found out that the pitch of his yard was just way too much for this mower. And uh he just decided to hire a company to come do his lawn and I said, well, why don't you let me buy that mower? And I'd use it here because this was his house and I took it over. So, so I'm going to lower these duck wheels and uh, see if I can't get some, uh, some better flexion out of the deck. And they're just a three-quarter also. And we'll just 
loosen that up. And I'm gonna need a three quarter inch wrench to put behind the jam nut to hold that. Okay, so rather than getting a three quarter inch wrench, I found out that on the outside of this wheel is the rest of the bolt. So just take a breaker bar with a three quarter on it. Hold my backside and just rotate my front and use it like the ratchet that way. I got enough busted my knuckles off. So, and then it pops out like that. So, that's what you don't want to do. Should be about there. Yep. I don't know why it is up so high. This is, I don't know. Well, we're going to put them where they belong. So, let's pull it out. See it on the bottom one. Put your washer back on. Your lock nut back on. I'm going to make this get a little quicker. I'm going to grab my Ugga Dugga box. Anyway, got my trusty, dusty Harbor Hobo Freight Ugga Dugga machine here. And make sure I change my direction. And there we go. So rinse and repeat the other side and we'll be good to go once again change your direction on your ratchet stick it behind there change your direction on your other bag box that was smooth smooth like x flags on a sunday morning now this has got a little something going on here so I'm going to tighten this up a bit. It's a little loose. Back and forth a couple times. Helps uh, loosen up your threads if they're boogered or corroded. There we go. That's good. Now we'll run it back through the bottom. Washer. Lock net. Perfection. Now I'm gonna get my measuring tape here and I'm gonna measure from the bottom of the deck clearance in the back here and I'm gonna change it a quarter inch lower in the front. Alright, so we got the old number stick out and we got one and three quarter inch at the back of the deck. So we're gonna put a tape on the front and we're gonna put that at one inch because it's a quarter inch lower. And we want our pitch to go down roughly a quarter inch. So that's just straighten that out. But before I go any further, you know, I just, I got this tool in my pocket I want to show you guys. PB Blaster. You put this on these rusty sticky nuts, bolts, and it just works the magic wizardry and it gets down in there and just Break some loose and oh, this it's not PB Blaster, it's Pat's Blue Ribbon Cold Snack <laughs> with pocket lint on top of it. Yeah, you know what time it is. I tell you, I just love this cup. I, my boys always think about me. Now you gotta get you gotta get that beer pour. You gotta tilt your mug and pour it slow 
Now, you don't want to pour it so there's no foam on top because, you know, that's actually bad. That's why you burp so much. And it tastes funny. Just like when you go somewhere and you get a draft beer, you know, and they bring it to your table. And if there's no head on it, send it back. Because the carbonation, something with the magical stuff, Google it. Put it in the click-clack box on the Google Googles or duck 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 stop or whatever it is and uh look it up you'll see <sighs> dead food ah. all right so i'm gonna put the number stretcher stick on the front here and see what we got we got these wheels where they need to be now, so that way when you hit bumps, it raises and keeps the deck level the way it needs to be. It was up too high, so it was just dipping and dapping and dobbling and flipping and flopping. and Yeah, it looked like Joe Biden just everywhere. Boy, that's a national treasure, ain't it? I need more. Excuse you, Ricky. You too, Karen. All right, so let's measure the front. Put a ratchet on it. Get our pitch right. Take it over here. Take the water hose and spray her out. Put our uh, safety covers, protectors back on. And uh, I'm going to cut this yard. Be right back in a minute. All right, so we're back over here in front. We're going to measure, and it's at one and a quarter. So we're going to let her down, which that should let the wheels touch perfectly. There we go. One inch. Right on the nose. They ain't flipping and flopping and wobbling and weeping and wapping no more. So I'll wash this thing out and go cut some grass. All right, so we rinsed it off. Took a couple passes on the grass before I rinsed it off. And I tell you, this thing cuts. Well, it cuts. It does the thing, and it looks pretty good. I'm proud of myself if I don't say so myself. That made no sense, but you know what I mean. So now, we're going to put the protector thingies back on there, and I'm going to end this video, and let y'all watch it and go fix your stuff. Your Raptor Limited. Now it's not so limited. It's exclusive. So, yeah. So, take your protectors. My little homemade thingy here. I'm going to drop it back down so I can put this over top. Line them up. My bolts that I saved. And uh, y'all may or may not hear some music in the background. Mama Bunny's up there giving the dogs a bath and watering her plants. And uh, she may be playing some music. You may or may not hear it. I hope I don't get copyrighted on it. But uh, either way, we're going to still continue to film here because well that's what we do here at home rancher all right so we got those lined up we got our three eighths on a quarter inch y'all probably cannot see nothing i'm doing but my back is that wiki hush 
So I'm going to slide over here out of the way and let you see me do nothing that you can't really see me do anyways. It's, it's pretty simple, you know. Y'all guys can do this. Don't doubt yourselves. And you know, gals, you can do this too. This isn't just a guy job. We're divided. The whole country's divided. You know, they want everybody black versus white, gay versus straight, Democrat versus Republican, liberal versus conservatives. But, you know, it's not us that needs to be fighting. It's not us that need to be divided. We need to come together. Despite our differences, you got to remember something. We're all humans. We all have our own feelings. We all think and feel things differently. And we are allowed to have that. But we need to come together and look at these fools that are making us divided and make change in this world. That's what needs to happen. We need to unite, come together, love each other for who we are, let everybody make their own choices, and we need to go after these fools that are making our lives miserable and ruining our country. It'll never happen because everybody's too busy against the other. It's crazy. Let me get this other side on and uh, close the video out. I'll be right back. All right. Last one. There's the bolts. There's our protector. Drop it on. Slide it up. Line it up to your previous marks unless you washed it, waxed it, painted it, buffed it. Bolts back in. Turn them. Get them started. And unless, of course, you're using a zip zap, just take your ratulator and Don't over tighten them, you snap them off. Don't want to do that. Well, I'm going to cut grass and then I'm going to wash this thing up and clean it. Do a little more maintenance, grease some stuff, and uh, get it ready for next time. Well, this has been another episode of the Home Rancher. And don't forget, you guys, you gals, get out and do something. Get your tools. Buy some tools. Go buy your own parts. Go on e-bags and scamazoo and get your parts research look for reviews make sure you're getting a part that other people have been able to use and it worked properly and fix your own stuff go to your local parts store and support them you know i go to o'reilly's for a lot of stuff but there's some stuff i go to my local small town parts guy because o'reilly's don't have it or it's going to take them three days to get it and this guy might have it been sitting on the shelf for the last five years with dust on it, but it's still new. I try to support my local community. But y'all get out and do something. Get your family involved. Get your kids involved. Get your wife involved. Get your husband involved. Get your neighbor's wife involved. But be nice. Don't thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Remember that. And stock up on PB blasters. I mean... Poobers, PBRs, cold snack. And don't drink Bud Light. If I still drunk Bud Light, I'd be out here in a bikini doing this with blue hair and a purple beard. <sighs> and then I'd be the home, the home strange not the home rancher. But y'all stay tuned. We're going to get some more content coming soon. Y'all have a beautiful day. And God bless you.